Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars. And I think I'll be introducing a whole lot more than those three brands that I just listed. Right behind me, as you can see, there is that KG Mobility, which is the brand new name for Sangyong, one of a Korean car manufacturers here in Korea as well. And for the first time ever, Alpha Motors right there, a startup that started off in California and they're making their final debut officially and that's worldwide, globally. First time here in Korea at 2023 Seoul Mobility Show as you can see right there. It's gigantic. Many many car manufacturers and brands on my background. Be sure to check out my previous and other videos to come if it's your first time seeing this. Right in the middle is KG Mobility's Taurus EVX. Their second EV in the family and this is the first EV from the internal combustion engine Taurus. So it uses the chassis and the platform straight from the internal combustion engine Taurus. However, it's been fully electrified. This is not built from a dedicated EV platform which we have up on the display right over there which I'll cover momentarily. Taurus has been the lifesaver for the Sangyong brand and the Cajun mobility that we see right now. So they really have high hopes and I really do have high hopes for this vehicle. KG Mobility aims to push out 380 kilowatts by year 2025. It has the good old skateboard platform, motor on the rear, another motor on the front, so it can separate the power from front and rear, making the two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive when necessary. So this is no different from a typical skateboard platform that we have been seeing throughout many manufacturers, and that means it's proven, it's reliable. Hopefully that is what KG Mobility skateboard platform also turns out to be we will let the market and the time be the judge for that what more can I say just look at that DRL actually KG Mobility recently dropped a teaser on the Taurus EVX and they've done a great job with teasing us about the vehicle they actually dropped no information whatsoever that are essential to EVs and I'm talking about the battery the capacity the sizes and the numbers none of that it was just the exterior design based on the Taurus internal combustion engine model you see over there they built this EVX and that being said they're not using a dedicated EV platform just yet however they used the chassis used on the ice and built a EV car from bottom up it has the charging ports as you can see and with the wheels the shield type good old five spokes design right there that we are used to seeing on many many EVs and that emblem in the middle is what the logo emblem used to be for Sangyong so that is ought to change perhaps mostly what you see on the outside a strong firm masculine vehicle however when you come inside this is where everything else changes piano black used on the buttons and the interior the display that has the 12.3 dual inch monitors they're not connected and they are at an angle however all the buttons uh, it's self-explanatory and the paddle shifters are exactly looks like that they're the same thing from the internal combustion engine model as well by the way i recently have test driven towards internal combustion engine so these are the ways you can control your seats both passenger and the driver and it comes with the ambient lights and such so it's a shame that we don't get to see the interior a little more detail in terms of tour cvx interior is that it gets the vents that are unified with the dashboard as you can see that makes it look more wider and also it actually is wider in some sense integrating all that into that design putting everything into that 12.3 inch monitor and comes with the ambient light and toggle type switches are also all put into that 12.3 inch monitors there is the wireless charger and over there where the traditional tunnels were for the internal combustion cars it's all now available for extra storage and this is the tail light of Taurus EVX and this is one of the Korean national flag the six vertical lines that you see and the skid plate it has the silver finish with the reflector right here 
the reverse cams and the rear reflector and all these parts are actually made of plastic so it's not all that luxurious in terms of the design and the material itself however i think it matches really well with the overall theme that Taurus EVX pursues there is the spoiler but there is no cut outlet so that's where all the dusts are going to get collected just like the internal combustion engine Taurus did right above is the third brake light with shark antenna comes with the rear wiper it seems to be an important thing on the EV SUVs lately this is where the trunk handle sits so just tap it in there's a rubber part and I'm pretty sure this will be fully automated and that we see KG mobility written right up there as well as Taurus EVX and I'm really curious as to what kind of a brand logo they will come up with if they are ever debating about it really hope that they won't just leave it as this uh, that's just too many characters to me they have that little outlet right there to meet the safety regulations around the globe right there used to be where the storage box was for regular tourists that you see right there it could be because I'm on the right side do we have one on the left nope these things on the presentation I was told or I could speculate that it is all available as an accessory so you could probably install that and just so you know the vent or the handle you see over there on the bonnet that used to be exactly the same for the internal combustion engine model I mean you could attach some kind of a string and ropes when you go camping and whatnot however do not ever use that to tow or pull any other car you will end up ripping your bonnet off so that is just for the looks it's not mounted to the chassis or any rigid part of the EVX body so do keep that in mind all right so this is actually the roof climbing handle on top is roof flat carrier what we saw originally on Taurus was actually the side storage box that I was referring to so we'll see a lot of accessories like this on Taurus that can be implemented to Taurus EVX all right so that really is it for today's video and KG Mobile also has a lot of concept cars here for display and there's another one that I want to capture before I go which is this F100 and look at this outrageous design up on the front and also just all throughout this is what the KG Mobility pursues in the near future uh, just look at the wheel design the DRL and also the display up on the front outrageous and beautiful and the bonnet design no one has been all that aggressive thus far from domestic Korean manufacturers but KG Mobility does it let me show you the rear as well I haven't had the chance but look at this so we know that it's also EV with the V2L plug right there, V2L connector, the tail lamp, and wow, look at that, the third brake light. It lights up like so. Ooh, even the rear reflector right there. You see, that's another flag, another portion of the flag from Korean national flag. So they were serious and right about bringing all that to their cars. Let's go to the last one. I want to show you what this KG Mobility Sangyong's roots all started from. 